behind me is Lab 257, formerly Building 257, a major historical building on, on Plum Island. This is the foundation of biosecurity. In fact, the history of Plum Island is the history of biosafety. Plum Island Animal Disease Research Center. Sounds charming. Despite being located near one of the most densely populated areas in the U.S., most people have probably only heard of Plum Island from the film Silence of the Lambs. We departed this morning around 8 a.m. from Connecticut. Now we are on the ferry on the way to Plum Island. It's going to be a 30 to 45 minute ride and it should be a fun day. Plum Island is managed and controlled by DHS, the Department of Homeland Security. Plum Island is the nation's premier agricultural defense research lab for transboundary animal diseases that affect uh, livestock but don't exist in the United States. From the 1950s through the 1990s, we were uh, one of the few labs doing this kind of work. And you can see the technology as you walk through our facility progress from simple 1950s mechanical and engineering solutions to more complicated uh, systems and processes, including HVAC units, HEPA filtering, thermal decontamination of waste. All of that stuff was developed here. So Plum Island actually has a central role in modern biosafety. So that story is largely untold. Over the course of the 70-year history of Plum Island, we've developed more than two dozen diagnostic tests that are out in a national network for animal health that's maintained by USDA. We've also developed the only uh, functional molecular vaccine that can be used in the United States for foot and mouth disease. There are a lot of conspiracy theories. A popular conspiracy theory is that we invented or we were involved in the spread of Lyme disease, and that's really unfortunate. It's clear that Lyme disease has been around for a really long time in multiple places. It just emerged here in the 1970s and caused a media sensation, and then we named the disease after the place it was found. And then we've never done any of that other kind of research that people think we do. Besides helping to control the threat of animal pathogens jumping to humans and causing the next pandemic, the hard science being done in this field has a big impact on the U.S. economy. The supply chains in our country are very connected. We could see a place where it was hard to get milk, it was hard to get butter, and you were paying $100 for a hamburger. 30% of the pork that we produce in the United States is exported. And if we were to have an African swine fever outbreak, we would be unable to export pork until we got some sort of certification. That would be devastating to the economy. But it isn't just the food, it's also the feed suppliers to the farmers and the food processing facilities and all the drivers of those trucks and all of those grocery stores. And the ripple effect could be enormous. Although China vehemently denies it, rumors of the coronavirus leaking from a government lab there has sparked renewed interest in these types of facilities. COVID-19, SARS, Ebola, Zika, swine, and avian flu all emerged in humans in the past two decades, and governments around the world are spending billions on research facilities to study these dangerous pathogens. The philosophy here is that safe science is good science. Our primary goal is the safety of the researchers and the, and the staff here at the facility, the safety of the animals, the safety of the environment. We have a responsibility to the people here in New York, the people in Connecticut and the U.S. at large. We do have impacts from weather from time to time, uh, specifically hurricanes or bad sea conditions. With the advent of new containment technologies, it is now uh, safe to build these high containment facilities on the mainland. With the construction of a $1.25 billion level four biosafety facility in Manhattan, Kansas, finally completed, the decommissioning of Plum Island will soon begin. And although it may cause alarm to have such a facility on the mainland, it may actually be safer.